What's up guys? I'm over here at Take 5 Audio in Middlebury, Connecticut. If you guys watched the video I did, I think like last week, I had an interesting visit, but we've made up, we're back. I'm gonna give you guys a little quick tour of the store. Well, I'm not gonna give you a quick tour of the store, but I'm here with Mr. Bob. Hey, he's gonna how give are you? you? He's gonna give you a quick little rundown of what they got in here. How you doing? Uh, we're gonna take a quick look at their home theater first. This is their home theater room. And Bob, what do you got in here? So in this room, um, we have two systems and the system that's on now, I'm using uh, the Barco projector. Uh, I use the trend off processor with it. I have a, med a mad VR for video uh, processing and a combination of Parasound amps, Mac amps, and my speakers are all James loudspeakers and James subwoofers. So it's, a, it's an Atmos, Dolby Atmos theater. I have 16 channels in here, and I'm using a Stewart uh, screen, motorized screen. I use Studio Tech 100 material, and it's a 2.4 aspect ratio. It's a 135 inch screen. And this is a drop down screen? It's a drop down screen, yes. And obviously, that's the Kaleidoscape. And that's the Kaleidoscape, yes. Yeah. What's, uh, what kind of gear you got in the rack? Let's see what you got. This is a two-fold rack. So right now I have the Trinoff processor. This is the Kaleidoscape server. Macintosh 7-channel amp. 5-channel amp from Parasound. Um, I'm also, I also have a Rev Revon Blu-ray player. And this is the Mad VR. Look at that. Guys, yeah. a lot of this gear should look very familiar to you. It's almost a mirror of my rack. And then what do you got here? And the second system we use, we use a different projector. I use mostly the Sony projector. Um, I'm waiting for the new one to come in. This is the NAD T778. It's an unbelievable receiver. This uses the Dirac room correction, which is great. Um, I also have an, an external amp because I'm running Adobe Atmos with this with four ceiling speakers as well. Okay, so with the Barco system and the Trinoff right now, I'm using the James loudspeaker. Uh, this is a quad array tweeter. So it gives you that effect of a horn loaded speaker. And I have three across the front. I also use the same speaker for my surrounds and my surround backs. And can you explain to the folks why you would have all matching speakers? Well, it's for timber quality, timbre quality, you know, it's better off. You have a more even presentation. What I use as examples a lot of times, if you have different speakers across the front and you have a jet flying from left to right, sometimes you'll end up as a, an F-16, end up as a Piper Cub and then back to an F-16. This way, everything has the same quality of sound and the balance is really good. So on my second system, which I run with the Sony projector and right now the NAD receiver, I have the Bowers 700 series speakers uh, left and right. And then I have the over here is the Bauer is the center channel. It's in the cabinet. With this system, I use in right now I'm using triads for my surround, my surround backs and my Atmos speakers. Um, it's, it's, you know, we have to maintain that. It's easy to use. They kind of integrate well with different speakers. So if I change these to Dyno Audio or, or another brand, I just change the front three and maintain the backs and the surrounds is the same, just to make life easy. And these are powered by, you can swap in and out between the, uh, the Altitude and the 778? and the 778 and then usually sometimes I'll put in a Mac processor in place of the Trinoff or I'll use a Marantz or a uh, Yamaha AV receiver. What are we doing for height speakers? Well the height speakers right now so for the NAD system I'm using the Triad speakers. I have two pair in there. For the Barco system I'm using the Trinoff uh, excuse me, the James loudspeakers. So I have actually two pair, plus I have a center for Aura application. And then with the James system, I have a subwoofer in each corner mounted on the ceiling, vented down into the roof, into the room. So you got subwoofers in the ceiling? In the ceiling. And the four of them, you said? Yeah. 
and it's uh, really pretty incredible. Let's go over the projection that you got. The projection, well, right now I have a Barco projector, which is a laser projector. Um, that's the Bragi, that's their, that's their entry level projector, if that's what you want to call it. Um, that's a phenomenal projector. Uh, that's all DCI color. Um, I believe the way it's set up with the color wheel, it's 5,500 lumens, so it can handle a big screen. And then the, the Mad VR is doing the video processing to handle the HDR and the aspect ratio. So it'll automatically switch to whatever format you send it. And that's a 4K projector? Yes. And the type of screen you got again is the Stuart? Oh, that's a Stuart. That's a Studio Tech 100 screen uh, material. And that's a motorized screen that it's mounted into the ceiling flush. And of course you can get that in a fixed frame. Uh, there's a lot of different applications you can do with the, with the screens. As you guys know, I have a Stuart in my theater as well. Highly recommend them. One of the, well, probably like the best projection screens out there. And you guys have this room acoustically treated. Who are the uh, treatments by? Well, right now, um, right now these are done by uh, Oralex. Um, and uh, this is a temporary fix for the room. I'm doing a little bit more work in here, so I'm going to change that out a little bit. Uh, I got to add some more acoustics and diffusion in here. But um, it works out pretty well, especially with the, the receivers and the processors with their in tandem with their room correction. Okay, so these are Fortress, uh, the, the light colored leather ones, those are Fortress seating. And uh, this comes from the furniture, the gray ones come from the furniture end. Uh, these are Ashley, I believe. In this room, uh, this is all our equipment, two-channel equipment, and we carry different brands. We are a big moon dealer. We do audio research. We carry the es Esoteric and the Esoteric Grandiose lines, um, Dyn Audio speakers, B&W speakers, and a lot of different applications. We also are a Hegel dealer. Uh, we do the Samico turntables right now. Uh, we are a clear audio dealer as well. I'm waiting for the demos to come in. And uh, Acoustic Signature, another beautiful line. So clearly you guys are dealing with some, some super high-end audio gear here, as well as some obviously some mid-range affordable stuff. Mm -hmm. But you guys have all these out in the middle of the showroom floor. What if you wanted to come in? Do you need an appointment to come in to listen to any of these? Nice well, speakers? we don't really need an appointment, but what we suggest to customers, because right now we're a little limited for space, we are planning on building another showroom over there. When a customer comes in and he has specific requirements, like I want to listen to XYZ, uh, electronics. I want to hear these speakers. All we ask is call the day before. We'll set up whatever you want and get them properly set up and then we that would save us time so you have more time to demo and we can compare all your electronics and all your speakers that you'd like to hear. And and most a lot of people just come in and we'd be willing to move and do whatever they want into the room to listen. Okay, so we also do video. We also carry TVs. Um, you know, our, our major lines are uh, Sony and um, LG. Uh, we do have the Sony Master Series and the, we carry the LG G2. Pretty much whatever they have, the OLED is our big seller, always has been. You know, and we also cali calibrate. We do all the calibration on the video if you wanted to. Audio as well? Yes. And you do custom home theaters as well, right? Yes, well, definitely. All right, so uh, definitely, guys, check out the store and check out who's here. This is actually the man who owns the store. What's up, Dean? Doing? Nice to meet so, you. This, this, yo, Dean, tell them about the store. Tell them yeah. why is the store why is this store inside of a furniture store? Yeah, so we uh, great, Shane. Thank you for coming in, and great to have you here. And uh, 
guys, I'm so happy I got to talk with Shane and, uh, you know, make things right. And uh, so we started off as a consignment shop, um, added on a furniture home design center. And about four years ago, before COVID, felt that um, adding the hi-fi, take five kind of audio business would fit in well with our business, kind of that lifestyle oriented business. And they had the infrastructure and so we moved it up to uh, our store and did a whole build out right before COVID hit in 2019, the end of that. So um, we're fairly new. Uh, take Five's been around 40 years, uh, great business and uh, love getting to meet Shane. All right guys, so don't forget to like, share and subscribe and stop by Take Five Audio. It's over here in Middlebury, Connecticut. Great store, great gear. Um, I'm excited to uh, partner up with Dean and the crew over here and uh, be on the lookout for some future videos. Thanks for coming by, man. Yeah, man. Appreciate it.